They got an emoji for this. Say for instance, if you text a woman or DM a girl or she DM you back and she send you something like this as an emoji, you know what that means, right? You know what this means. <laughs> you know eggplant. That's what they be talking about. Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer back in that building with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, all you got to do is turn that bell on, guys. That's it. That way, every time I drop a video on the Cryer family, all of y'all will get the notifications. As usual, I will be dropping the links in the description box down below to my other YouTube channel. So guys, go on over and follow me. And for the people who recently joined the Cryer family, I wanna say welcome to the family, man. Yo, I freaking appreciate it, bro. So yo, so listen to this, man. Man, I've been having some crazy dreams, man. I don't know if the decipher between a dream and a nightmare. Some people say a dream you don't talk about it because you want the dream to come true. But a nightmare, you talk about it because you don't want that to come true. Comment down below in the comment section if you guys believe that that's true when it comes to a nightmare versus a dream. So I'm at this Chinese store. Yo, listen, I'm over in Katy, Texas, guys. When you guys ever see me do a video saying I'm in Katy, Texas. Yeah, your boy been branching out. Listen, I've been nationwide lately when it comes to Texas. I've been everywhere around this place, man. So today I'm over in Katy, Texas. I said, you know what? I want to find one of the biggest seafood places out here. Seafood markets to see, like, is it really worth all the hype? So this place that I'm sitting outside of in the parking lot is called H Mart Market Eatery. So I guess it's a seafood market slash restaurant inside. I don't have any plans of eating at the restaurant inside. I mean, I don't know that yet, but I'm gonna check out this Asian market and uh, see what type of stuff they got up in here, guys. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I was just gonna come and say, you know what? I'm not even gonna vlog it, but I was like, you know what? When the last time I did a video like this, coming into a, a like a like a seafood market, you guys know seafood is like really big, man. They got they got a song out talking about all bad is like seafood. Hey, dudes like seafood too. What about us, bro? So <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm sort of kids. So let's go see what all the hype about. So let's go, guys. So in case I didn't say the name, guys. Just the name of it, it's called H Mark. Now I don't know if it's 100% like Oriental Seafood, but I went into Google and I looked and I typed in Chinese seafood, I typed in Oriental Seafood and nothing would pop up in my area. So I finally said, you know what? Let me type in just Seafood Market. I popped in Seafood Market and booyah, right there. So that's the name of the place, man. So we're going to go in here and just see what they got. Again, over in this area, man, it's like they got everything in this plaza, man. Look, right here, you got Yipo. You got Blooming Cosmetics. You got Long Hair Studio. I mean, this like this like one of those strip malls, man, where you can just come out of one store and just go into another store. Look at that. L and Nell Hawaiian Barbecue. I don't know about y'all. Bro, I ain't never had no Hawaiian barbecue before. And you know what, to be honest with you, it actually sounds pretty good. So, I'm kind of a little excited to go in here, man, just see what they got. Bro. I walked in the store, they got the music blasting. So I'm gonna have to do, uh, I'm gonna have to upload this video twice. One with the music playing in the background, and then I'm gonna have to upload one without a music in the background, just to see, because I don't want to get ID claimed. A lot of this stuff, man, like I can't even really pronounce it. But it's always neat, man, seeing like different stuff, like from a different cultural perspective, like this right here. It says weekly specials, two ninety nine Korean pair. Oh, this is oh wait a minute. Oh, this is a Korean pair. 
oh my god this is a lot better than our pears over here in america i mean seriously we got big old like green long looking pears they stuff is like nice and round okay korean pear okay not for sure oh that almost like a what is that rambutan rambutan uh-oh hey yo they must have heard me turn the camera on because the music just got loud as hell i don't know man what is this guva we got guva right here i'm not for sure what a guva is uh but it's whoa man listen i don't hold on for a second what is that it looks so cute man like i don't want to buy something to eat it because it's cute looking this is called dragon fruit white oh flesh what the hell hold on this is flesh am i reading this wrong guys did i say fresh or flesh right there dragon fruit white flesh hmm didn't know you can eat flesh i don't plan on eating nobody's flesh wow they got different foods over there. man this is kind of neat though honestly i'm joking around but this is actually kind of cool this is really cool to see this man because i'll be watching some of like the chinese or oriental mukbangs and they be eating stuff man i can't even really pronounce this right here is called lychee and this is called loke hmm. not for sure it almost like a oh it's soft i almost thought it was like a peanut but it's actually really really soft that's actually pretty cool man now over here you got like the basic oranges spectrums and over here, I'm not for sure what this is. Hacha per me. You know what? I better stop trying to pronounce stuff. Because y'all gonna drag me in the comments. Y'all know I'll be I'll be messing up words. Oh, here we go. I know how to pronounce this. Golden kiwi, baby. Stop playing with me. See? See? I'm not even gonna keep on trying to pronounce stuff that I can't even pronounce, man. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show y'all what I see right here. Pamelo. Mmm. Hamlo looks good. It almost looked like a watermelon. So I'm guessing. Hold on, this say green. Oh, y'all know what? Speaking of green, maybe I'll find green tomatoes here. Oh my God. I didn't think of that. But this right here reminds me of watermelon. So I'm not saying that's what it is. Because regular watermelon looks like this right here. So I know what regular watermelon looks like. I'm just saying this right here. It just reminds me of watermelon. Oh my God, why does it look like a human? Man, let me find out this is a lemon on step. Bro, let me find out this is a lemon. Let me find out that's a, man, let me find out that they got lemons that big growing around the world. Gonna have me moving out to the United States and moving over there immediately, man. Most of this is just the basic green vegetables that you see. But this right here, I'm not for sure what I'm looking at. But I hope it don't say nothing about no dang on flesh. Wow, not for sure what that is. But right here, they got these cut open. Oh my God, it looks like a big pineapple, man. Is this pineapple? Is this, wait a minute, that's coconuts in there? Hold on for a second, bro. Hold on, is this, is this what I think it is? Let me find out this is coconut. What, it, it look like coconut. Again, I'ma chill. Because if I mispronounce something, y'all going to be like, no, Cryer, that's not what that is. You mispronounce the stuff. You mispronounce the stuff. Ooh, I like those right there. Green onions. You guys can't tell me those aren't fire. Those are fire. Mm -hmm. Man, I ain't even gotten to the store good yet. And I'm already seeing some stuff that's really interesting. Like, oh, wow, is this the eggplant? Is this like the emoji people be posting? Oh, 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 Chinese eggplant. That's what it is, guys. They got an emoji for this. Say, for instance, if you text a woman or DM a girl or she DM you back and she send you something like this as the emoji, you know what that means, right? You know what this means. <laughs> you know eggplant. That's what they be talking about. Now that I see why well, they use that as emoji with they nasty butts. They nasty talking about eggplants. Hey, I know y'all cracking up, but y'all know I'm telling the truth. 
Y'all be using them emojis. Men and women both be using those emojis talking about some damn eggplants. Anyway. Y'all let me find, y'all, listen. Y'all let me see one green tomato. Now, oh my God, seriously? Nah, bro. They got carrots doing it like this. Man, and I, you know what? I don't think that they use a lot of stuff like we use, stuff to make our food big, blow up all, all fat. I think they stuff is like grown organically like that. But that's some big old, what are those carrots? Those some humongous carrots, man. Those are big. Let's see what else we got, cha. What is this? Cactus. If I mispronounce some guys, forgive me. I left my glasses in my truck and I left them on purpose. So, mm -hmm. see over here, I'm just gonna find some stuff, man, that I'm not familiar with. Or oh, I almost thought those was green tomatoes. I was gonna say, oh my gosh. I thought they was green tomatoes. Oh, they fooled me again. I thought they was green tomatoes. Okay, let's go on over to some more. All right, bro, I know these not mushrooms, bro. Come on, bro, I know these ain't mushrooms. Ain't no mushrooms this big. King oyster mushrooms? They mushrooms. What in the Sam's hell is going on? Oh my God, look at the size of these mushrooms. Oh my sweet Jesus. You know, if they got some green tomatoes here, they might have some green tomatoes on steroids for real. We about to find out today. I'm going down all the vegetable aisles because I don't want to miss the opportunity to grab me some oriental green tomatoes. Them oriental green tomatoes might be fire. Shoot, I'm just saying though. I don't see none over there. Let's go down this aisle right here. We ain't even got to the fish yet, guys. That's what I'm interested in. Cause I'll be wanting to see like the different fishes that these, oh, oh, what the, oh, shoot. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Man, I almost finna say, these aren't the healthiest green tomatoes. They're not green tomatoes. These are Tommy Tillido, something like, I can't even pronounce it. But this looks like what they had the other day at HEB when I was looking for green tomatoes. And it, it, it looked like green. Well, I don't know, man, because this don't have that leafy stuff on. Man, let me find out these is green tomatoes, and I don't know. Hold on. I'm at the, uh, let's see here. Bro, I'm going to have to get my glasses out the car. Because I didn't, man, hold on. They buy the tomatoes because the tomatoes are right there. So why would those be right there if those are not green tomatoes? Them might be green to Get your butt over here. You know what, man? Tomato, yellow. I just want to see something say green tomatoes. I might have to, bro. Because I see tomatoes right here. All tomatoes. There's no way that those are not green tomatoes. I'm going to walk around the store for a second. I'm going to come back to this aisle because, man, let me find what the hell is that? Yo, what is this? What in the freak is this? Dang. They said everything in Texas is big. Yo, okay. Okay. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Mandingo. Mandingo. Let me stop, man, for y'all drag me in the comments. I really don't care. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Let's go out of this area, guys. I think somebody said, yo, some guy's in here vlogging. Turn that music up loud. So let's go and see if we can. Let's go down this aisle right here so we can find some of the fish. Oh, I think this is where they sell like them really spicy noodles at too, man. Like the ones that you really can't stand. Honestly, I'm not even gonna cap, guys. I don't even have a grocery cart with me because the whole goal was I want to just vlog. But if they got some things, man, that I've been looking for for a long time, I may want to do a spicy noodle challenge with Soso just to see if she can handle it. But in order for me to do that, I gotta find the right noodles, man. V says two times spicy, artificial spicy chicken flavored ramen noodle. 
No, for sure. Because I don't want it to just say spicy. I want it to be spicy. As y'all know, I can spice some stuff up, bro. Oh, my God. They noodle section is on point. They noodle section is definitely on point. So, we'll see, guys. Let's see what else they got. Shoot. I'm just looking. I mean, even if it looks spicy. Woo. Do that say 21 times spicy? Maybe not. When it comes to read, like certain languages man i'm not very good at that but oh my god what i do know is this is the freaking hour to be in if you're looking for new wait a minute wait a minute what did i say artificial spicy okay that's like the other one artificial spicy man i seen this tiktok video a while back comment down below man if you guys know what i'm talking about i seen this tiktok video a while back they showed like them eating noodles what not not eating them but they showed like they had the noodles all laid out on this tray and they had a magnifying glass next to the noodles and they were looking at the noodles and it showed like these little bugs and maggots moving around man it kind of turned me off a little bit but it didn't stop me from eating noodles but comment down below if you guys actually seen that tiktok video on tiktok or what did i see it on tiktok or instagram it was one or the other it don't even matter but i do know i was turned off for a minute from eating noodles but it wasn't, it didn't turn me off that long. Oh, that would be dope. A noodle challenge with chopsticks? Ooh, what y'all think, man? Should I try it? Should I try it, bro? You know, I'm starting to think, man, you know, you know, I'm starting to think there's some things I might want to try, man. And I'm, um, the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking about going ahead and grabbing me a grocery cart and doing my thing. Oh, they got the cheating chop. Oh, is these the chopstick for kids right here? Oh, yeah, it is. Y'all ever seen that, bro? Look. These are the kids eating chopsticks. They, these are so cute. It's like the smallest things in life that you pass up when you're in a store. That right there is nice. Chopstick for kids. Oh. Honestly, I, I can't really eat with chopsticks. I've tried it, but I can never get the food to hold. Comment down below if you guys have used chopsticks and you're good at using chopsticks. And don't be capping because I may be like, send me a picture. Hey, you know what I thought this was, guys? Because I know in their country, their culture, they package things up different than we do. I thought this was the free clean chitlins, man. But this is sushi ginger pink. I thought it was chitlins. Because everybody got like a different style of how they do stuff and package stuff up, man. You know, one thing I like about the store, I'm noticing, guys, this store is so freaking clean. And for it to be so much seafood inside the store, it smells so good. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about when I say smells. You can go into stores like, and this is not down at Walmart or Kroger's or any of them, but you can walk into any of those stores, man, and you know they sell like a variety of food, fish, seafood, chicken, pork chops, but you walk in the door, you smell the strong odor of fish. This store is primarily based off of seafood, and you can hardly smell it. This store smells really good. I'm impressed with how clean it is. And this must be a very popular store, too, because this bad boy is packed. I mean, you got every type of people in the store that you can think of. This is a really good store. And you know what? I'll mess around. And like I said, I'm not even halfway through this store. I don't think I'm going to be able to have enough footage to show you guys everything in the store. But I'm going to show you what I can. But the stuff that I'm looking at is making me want to rethink my refrigerator food right now. Because some of this stuff looks really good. Like they got here. Look at this. Sliced rice cakes. It's time to try different stuff. I'm always eating chicken and pork chops and greens. Maybe I should switch it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some of this stuff is a lot more healthier for you too. I mean, you got to really think about it. How many overweight Oriental people do you see walking around? And that's not racist. Like literally, think about it. How many overweight Oriental people do you see walking around? Because they eat really healthy. How many Italians do you see walking around that's like extremely big i'm not saying there's not any but they eat so healthy like italians are extremely conservative how they eat and trust me i know this because i was in italy for two weeks and i was in paris for a couple days of that two weeks and they eat extremely healthy now this right here i don't know about this this is what i fish see this right here this type of stuff i fish with man 
dry anchovy. Now, I don't know why I used to think anchovies was fish eggs. Well, I guess this, I guess this would be considered like a fish egg because they fish babies, correct? Jeez, look how small they get, yo. Y'all never been inside one of these stores? It's okay, it's okay, I got y'all back. Y'all can see it firsthand right here on the Cryer family. Look how small these are. You know how much work it takes to get this done? There's probably a million anchovies in one of these bags. That's some serious work, man, to put in, just to even get those dry packaged and shipped over here. It's actually pretty awesome, man. It really is. Like, I'm just really excited at the stuff that I'm looking at. And usually when I go into a grocery store, like I'm doing a grocery store vlog, but I'm not overly excited the way I am now. Today, I am really impressed. I mean, literally. Like, I'm not for sure how to pronounce this right here, but they got like the different, I'm not for sure what this is, guys. It's really soft though. Oh, it's a rice cake. Oh, these are rice cakes, y'all. Look at the colors, like look at this. This is orange, man. Green, that's pretty dope. These are baked red bean cake with matcha. Well, damn. Okay, I think we're getting close to the fish, guys. Okay, so let's go over here and see what we got. This is more dried. Um, wow, look at this. This is fish right here. Like, I wonder if you gotta cook this. Cause a lot of this stuff you don't really have to cook, man. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah. One thing about our planet, man, we would never run out of food, bro. Look at this. What's this called? Mackerel? This uh, so this is a tropical fish. Trust Tropics. A Filipino flavor. Okay. Filipino flavor. That's what that says, man. This is so cool, man. You guys do me a favor, man. While we're in the middle of doing this video, comment down below if you guys enjoy this video and enjoy me doing videos like this. What is this? Is this a dry squid? Cuttlefish. Oh, I don't know what this is, man. But it's some type of... It says cuddle. Oh, this is octopus. Whoa, this is dried octopus. Oh, wow. Yep, see that? That's crazy, man. Look at the shrimps, guys. Look how small these... Louisiana deep shrimp. Oh, dried shrimp, I'm sorry. I don't have my glasses on. This is Louisiana deep dry, I said it again. Louisiana dried shrimp. This is pretty cool, man. Like, wow. I'm baffled. This is, wow. You imagine, man, learning how to cook some of this stuff right here? That means you would have to be dating or married to someone like from a different background as yours to be able to have food like this unless you actually like go to like a restaurant that actually sells like prepare sells and prepares this type of food this is 39 dollars. this is very expensive this is okay this is once again this is this one is called dried squid jeez okay dried squid oh my god guys i could literally be here all day it's a lot of stuff in here that's interesting. It's definitely got me interested because I grocery shop all the time. And I don't think I remember ever been this exciting. And I'm not even really grocery shopping at this very moment. This is one of the things. Okay, beef tenderloin. Those are really good. That's not bad. $10.99 a pound. So that would bring a total package to about $39, 40 bucks right there. Okay. So let's go over here and see what we got. Oh, I should have, I actually should have brought my glasses in. It's almost looked like ribs or steaks or something. They got their stuff so packaged up so pretty, man. Bro, okay, this is frozen beef. 
Look at that, this is frozen beef. It looks really good. I really love this environment of the store for some reason. Like, it just feels right for some reason. It don't feel like a sports. Like, other stores I go in, people are really rude and yelling all out here. It's, it's really peaceful, it's quiet. I don't feel like I'm being rushed or anything. What is this? Is these frog legs? Hold on, what is this? What is this? Bro, oh wow, this is. Guys, I had to the guess. I said, what are these frog legs? And it turns out these are actually frog legs. I do not know how to cook these. Frozen frog legs. Hmm. I wonder if I should get this to try, man. Like, how do you cook a frozen frog leg? Hmm. Huh, let me think for a second. Do I want to try this? What do you guys think, man? Comment in the comment section down below if you guys think I should try these frozen frog legs. Huh. I just got to see how to prepare them. It means I have to go online, go on Google, and I guess ask how to cook frozen frog legs. Right here is like basic meat. Um, this is, oh yeah, pig feet. Yeah, you know what, guys? Uh, it looks like my mind has been made up for me. I am going to go ahead and grab myself a grocery cart, guys. I have no choice now. Okay, guys, so I went and got me a grocery cart, as you see. I went ahead and got the green tomatoes. I'm gonna try these today for you guys in a separate video. Uh, someone did ask me to do a video on how to cook green tomatoes, so I'm gonna do this for you guys. I found this small pack and it is only $2.17 for these. And I am back in the noodle aisle. So let's see what we got here. We're gonna go, I wanna try the two, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and go with one box of those right there. Those are the one time spice. I don't think I wanna overdo it when it comes to that. Now, what really made me go back and get the grocery cart is cause I seen some meat, I just, I could not avoid it. I had to go get it, man. You guys know what I seen. I seen those pig feet. Now, I'm gonna say this. Guys may see like recently I did a grocery store. Oh, I got dark. Oh. I did a grocery store shopping video recently where I bought like a pot roast and like a pork roast and stuff like that, pork chops. I don't really eat a lot of pork like that. It just looks like it. When I go grocery shopping and buy stuff like that, it's not that I get home and I cook it immediately. I stock that stuff up for my deep freezer, so that's what that's about. But, yo, I seen these pig feet, man. I was not passing these up, bro. Why would I pass up these? Oh my God. Frozen pork feet, yo. I can't pass these up. I gotta have them, man. I came here just for the vlog, man, but you know, it is what it is, man. Oh, I gotta have it, man. I just, you know what I'm saying? I have a deep freezer at home. I have a deep freezer. And another thing I seen earlier, I could not pass up, was these frozen frog legs. One, two, three, so this is four of them in here. I got a small pack for 11 bucks because just in case I don't like them or in case I don't cook them the correct way, at least I do know I didn't spend a lot of money on them so what is this frozen lamb i'm not for sure how this works frozen lamb but i do know lamb chops is the bomb whoa what is this frozen goat hold on bro hold on frozen goat you can eat goat oh man i don't know man i don't know about that uh, i'm gonna have to do some research on that Frozen beef necks. I know what that is. Wow. Yeah, there was no way I could not go get a grocery cart, y'all. It's impossible. Because I hate to get home and wish that I would have got this stuff. Like I said, I watch a lot of videos online, man, where I be watching them eat like different foods and different types of foods. And some of that stuff, it be looking really yummy. I guess nothing's really changed about oxtails, guys. No matter which store you go to, the price is always the same. They not playing around when they come to their oxtails. 
I wonder how many oxes they got to kill just to get like a whole bag of oxtails. They probably got to mess a whole lot of oxes up just to get that ox soup. And it's expensive. Yeah, this store, man, they got some, I guess you can sell anything you want in life as long as that you package it up the right way. If you package your stuff up right, it's gonna be appetizing. No different than doing a YouTube video. You can get a lot of views on your YouTube videos. It all depends on how you package that video up. So don't let nobody fool you thinking that you need professional thumbnails, professional editors, because you really don't, bro. It's all about how you package the, your uh, videos up. Like lately, I've been doing like my own thumbnails. It's like, I don't really care. I just do my own thing because at the end of the day, you're gonna get views or you're not gonna get views. But package up, packaging up your product is always critical. So now we are at the fish area. Oh my God, look at this catfish. Look at the size of homeboy right there. Oh, that thing still breathing? Let me find out he's still alive. So you got the regular humongous catfish. You got regular carp. Regular carp from the, uh, from, you can catch a carp at any river, any pond, any lake, any stream. One thing you can guarantee to pull up out of there is a nasty carp. Guaranteed. They got that red perch right there, which is my favorite. I used to get mine already filleted, like you guys seen recently, but that's the whole red perch right there. And it was so hard for me to find perch. Now I know exactly where to come and get it from. Ooh, mackerel. Hello, mackerel. How are you, mackerel? Ooh, that looks like bass right there. I know, oh, striped bass. I used to catch those years ago. Pampano, look at the pampano. That's gotta be regular black tilapia. Mm -hmm. That's, oh, what is this right here? Hello, what's up, friend? What's up, friend? Oh my king crab god. Holy king crab god. Look at those crab legs. Ooh wee. Oh look, there's that jumbo squid. It's not dry. The other ones I showed you was dry. That's definitely not dry. I got a nice, oh yeah, I like this. Man, I knew their fish selection was gonna be sick, crazy looking. Look at the size of these shrimp. I knew when I got to the fish section, it was going to be silly. I knew it was. It looks so beautiful. The way they got everything, man. Like, yeah. I think I just found my new favorite store. I think this little drive over here to Katy, Texas was well worth it. Because it's educated me now on... Educated me on certain fish that's really hard for me to find. I was able to actually find it all at the store. And the crazy thing was, I wasn't even looking for a certain kind of fish today. I wanted to just come here just to see what type of uh, seafood they had. And I'm glad I did. I'm very impressed. And now I'm gonna be walking out of here with a few items today. Not a lot. But I'm gonna be walking out here with a few food items today. And I am extremely excited to try these uh, frog legs as well as these green tomatoes because I couldn't find green tomatoes. I couldn't find green tomatoes anywhere, y'all. So now I'm gonna go ahead and prepare myself for the checkout. Whoa, I can't check out yet. I bought all those lobster tails and crab legs of the day. It don't have not one bag of shrimp. I know I'm tripping. So with that being said, I think I can get my shrimp at HEB for a better price. This is a big bag of jumbo shrimp for $24.99. I get that same bag of HEB for $15.99. So I may actually hold off until I get there and just get my shrimp at another place. Cause the shrimp looks good, but I can get a better deal on it. So, but yeah guys, I think I'm about to ready to wrap this up and um, go ahead and pay for everything and check out and get ready to get my butt out of here. But just to give you guys a recap of what I got once again, I got the noodles again. Um, I wanted, I always wanted to try these noodles. I seen a YouTube video where somebody tried these noodles and they looked at really good. I got the green tomatoes. I got a couple of packs of the pork pig feet that's frozen. And one, two, three, four, I got a pack, a four pack of frozen frog legs. So 
that's what it is, guys. So I'm going to see you guys shortly.